I had to pour a drink to get through this video. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a two-parter, so I hope you watch the second video also. Cause this is really fucking important. Lauren Boebert has hopped on to co-sign the bill that Thomas Massey has introduced to abolish the Department of Education. And I don't have the time in this video to tell you the hundreds of jokes I've already come up with off the top of my head regarding Boebert doing anything with education. But here's the bill. That's it. That's the bill. One sentence. All right, maybe I have time for one joke. You know what it reminds me of? When you forgot to do your homework the night before, so you go to school the next day and just scribble something on a piece of paper and hand it in just to say you did something. Yeah, anyways. You know how I always say to you guys, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Let's talk about why the GOP is so hell bent on destroying and dismantling public education. And it all goes back to Reagan. Reagan, in his first year as governor of California, ended free tuition at the University of California and cut state aid to that college system by 20% across the board. After having destroyed low-income Californians' ability to get an education in the 1970s, he then took his anti-education program national as president in 1981. Before Reagan became president, states paid 65% of the cost of colleges and federal aid covered another 15 or so percent, leaving students to cover the remaining 20% with their tuition payments. That's usually how it is in all the countries of the world, you know, developed nations, especially the European ones. But now here in America, the numbers are reversed from pre-1980, with students now covering about 80% of the costs, thus the need for student loans here in the USA. They came for colleges and that generation did nothing. And future generations had suffered the consequences and remained stagnant in life, crippled by debt and the inability to move forward. Now imagine having to take out student loans to send your kid to kindergarten, all under the guise of liberal indoctrination because that's exactly what's happening right now. When asked why he'd taken a meat ax to higher education and was pricing college out of the reach of most Americans, he said, much like Ron DeSantis might today, that college students were too liberal and America should not subsidize intellectual curiosity. Sound familiar? Banks made trillions on the backs of students with predatory interest rates. Go to part two.